Today we are playing a game called Timeline. This is one of the most unique ideas in a order of operations puzzle game I have ever seen. So, let's get into it. All you need is your mouse, hello, and it's left click. And honestly, just some know-how and understanding of infrastructure and, well, the process and how things get made. See, this is, as its name suggests, a timeline of events that you are trying to put in order with a bit of resource management on top. So, you have the start of your timeline, a seed and two kids. If we take the seed and move it around, we can, boom, plant ourselves a tree. And if we hover over the tree, it can produce a seed, hence the thing underneath of it. So if we wanted to, we can just make a bunch of trees just because we could. Wouldn't recommend it, because this place is going to get a little crowded if we do. So if we undo it by clicking the little dot that's underneath them, we can uh, re smallen the tree population. So if we hover over the tree itself, it tells you what it does. We, if we have a kid work with the wood, or work with the tree, we will make wood and some other stuff we haven't understood yet because our timeline is very early. So if we take our child and put him to work, we can get a field that we can plow, but no, I want to make a wood. Look, there goes a little kid doing his labor. Yay. And we can end just like the trees, we can undo it if we need to, and trust me, we may in fact need to. So now we have this wood, let's put it here and build a cottage. So we want the cottage to now convert food into kids and electricity into students. So we're making a bunch of Frankenstein's monsters. Well, there's a, another thing we haven't made. This kid right here can make and plow a field. So it produces food, converts it kids to laborer or robots to food. Mmm, metal. Good for a young growing child's diet. Uh, so we'll take some food and make another child because we don't have any more for our puzzling needs. Uh, in spite of that also, let's see, what happens if I take a kid? Oh no, that's plowing a field. Well, if I go here, I can make a laborer, and a laborer can then dig a mine. Hey! So it produces stone, which builds a temple, which is good, food to food, kid to apprentice, all that stuff. But if we take a kid, and make him, okay, so let's make ourselves another kid. Take the kid and get coal. We then have coal that does nothing. Excellent, so instead of a kid, we'll want a laborer, so we go back to the field. We didn't do the laborer to get ourselves the iron, and the iron goes nowhere, and we definitely can't make a robot, so what's the next step? Hmm. And this is where the puzzle begins and sort of spirals out into a lot because we take the food, we make a pasture, hey, we get cows and manure. If we make cows, we get another pasture, and I don't know what a cow does. Food to make a cow, kid to a laborer, what do kids do plow a field I can get more wood I can oh I can make an apprentice that's right we have our this and the apprentice makes a workshop and there's a hell of a lot of stuff for that to do and it just kind of snowballs on and on and on down through your timeline eh, clever title and stuff uh the thing that you do have to keep in mind though is if we scroll all 
all the way down here, and let me just do 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 do. Ah, okay. You can only do so much in your timeline with how much space you have. So sometimes you need to space things out in order to get more space. However, see this seed here? That's as far as it goes. So I, I can make another tree here, but I can't reach any further. Same thing goes for this cow, because obviously it said cow for food. Oh, that actually has a really long range. That's actually really good. I'm gonna have to remember that. But the point is, is that not only do you have to make the timeline of events to fill in all the things you need to fill in, you have to manage its space and figure out what needs what and when, how to make it, and also not to fill up that one spot because you see the house here that converts food to kids? Well, if we take those cows and we make more food well okay for starters it doesn't reach because it's too far away so then we'd have to undo all of that and that's kind of not great so if we can then move that back over here and this is where the puzzle on it can be a little frustrating to work so far down your timeline and uh, kind of succeed and then have to undo everything. However, that's just part of the puzzle. See, here we go. Kid right there. So I now have a kid working there. Unfortunately, I can't put... Okay, I can't put more food right there. There's another cow here that can't... Yeah, no, okay, so now I can't make any more kids from this here. Tr uh, this here cabin. So now I have to make another tree and another wood to build another cottage to build another kid and as the time again as the timeline continues the lines just intermingle and I really like this uh, the visual style in itself very simplistic yet striking uh, especially highlighting the so aforementioned timeline of events that you are transpiring on the board here. It is really quite something, and I really like it. It is a head-scratcher in a very unique way. So, if you want to take a crack at it, go check out the link below in the description thereafter. Hopefully, you can get pretty far down your timeline uh, where I actually tend to not and get very jumbled up because now that I have all these kids and this manure, I don't know where that would go. I know I can make more wood Aha, to get paper. This, which then makes a school, and that's already a huge building there. So now I can get laborers to engineers students to scholars well that kid goes there and then that's there so now I have an engineer which then built a factory and that's where the coal comes in but I need more kids to get the coal and oh there's where the fertilizer goes and can I even reach the fertilizer with the the manure no no it needs to be much closer but where much closer do I need to temple here might not actually be you know what there's there's a hell of a lot to think about and uh, luckily I don't have to because now's the end of the video <laughs>